Hello everyone. At the moment I'm cleaning the house with natural things and I've had a couple of brilliant requests to look into grounding tools and instruments and cleansing because of course with the coronavirus getting bigger by the day it's up to us to try and look into things. First of all this is, I've got to do a disclaimer, I am in no way a medically trained professional. This is, if you have any symptoms, please follow the guidelines. It is not meant to diagnose, it is just meant to help. So I've got to, I must get a disclaimer out of the way first. I'm just focusing now, I've got, I've been cleaning with lemons. And I've um, got some lavender in there, some grounding stones, these are lavender incense sticks. I just popped out the tarot card magician, as that shows we have the power to do it and all the tools at our disposal. Echinacea, a brilliant one for keeping healthy. We always use that every winter. Echinacea, vitamin C, and a great one for cleaning is silver. I don't know how easy this is to get hold of at the moment. We've had this for a while. But silver on surfaces, colloidal silver, brilliant for health. So we're going to be talking about grounding crystals first. And I'm focusing on three. First one is smoky quartz. That one actively absorbs negativity, including electromagnetic smog. So when you're on the phone, you have the telly, every single piece of electric, even when you've got a mast outside your house, that can be so important. You could even keep maybe some grounding crystals outside. They wouldn't do that much against a mast, but every little bit helps. Smoky quartz calms the mind. It transmutes negative energy and also provides you with mental balance. It's a very calming quartz. I found it brilliant in pregnancy and, and it just helps generally. Black tourmaline is the next one. That is a almost a guardian stone and that will protect against more personal negativity, more personal attacks. So if you are expecting to see someone you don't like or you get into an argument, you know someone is a bit problematic, you may be expecting a visit from someone you think, oh no, they're going to start an argument, get some black tourmaline and that can disperse tension and stress. It's another great one for electromagnetic pollution. The last one is turquoise, a beautiful, very personal favourite stone of mine. That was used by, oh, going back hundreds of thousands of years they went into battle with many went into battle wearing crystals protection the one of the main ones was turquoise and they would believe it protects against outside negative influence and pollutants there's a an awful lot more to each of these stones but i'm still trying to narrow down the time another great thing to have is a diffuser and that will not only get more clean vapour, in, if you like, into the air, you can put so many different oils into it. I put lemon, but I mix it as lemon invigorates, it cleans, it purifies the air. Uh, if What you can do, a mix, um, a good recommended one, if you want clean air, try three drops of lavender. I think of, yeah, I think I've got lavender in there. Three drops of lavender, three drops of either tangerine, orange, and maybe two of eucalyptus, and that will really purify the air. For good health, it's a very similar one. Put in a couple of drops of lemon, two of tea tree. I can go into tea tree a bit more later. That is a fantastic sort of antiseptic one. And one bit of thyme, and that will encourage good health all them in the diffuser. Again, it depends on your personal preference. You might be more into deeper, uh, smokier, musky smells or citrus ones. The oils with tea tree, one of the reasons I like that so much is it can be applied topically without the use of any oil, any base oil. 
so you don't have to mix it you can put it directly on the skin again if you do and you have a problem please don't blame me this is just what has been recommended personal experience it is also tea tree is one if you have any mold in the house and you find that that's causing sickness there's a problem that will help to purify the air the next one I'm going to go on to is air purifying plants. Bamboo. Bamboo protects against indoor air pollutants. I do like having an aloe vera plant because that not only balances the air quality but if you take off a leaf you can use it and rub it on your skin against sunburn, uh, patches of eczema, it can, it's a very soothing one and of course you can drink aloe vera it's a very very good one for the digestion aloe vera then we've got a Chinese evergreen that filters out pollutants in the air and toxins let's see what we've got also someone else told me what they do and I've started to do it is halve an onion and keep it on a windowsill and the exposed bits of onion draw the bacteria out and back in the onion. It's not one I do often because of children and animals but if it works I'm all for that. One of the ones I do like to use, I mentioned this in my previous video as I was about to cough throughout it, is sage. I've used that up which is why it's not here. But sage is a natural anti-inflammatory and sage tea can also help with menopausal symptoms. I've recommended it for many of my clients, sage tea. That can really help with hot flushes. Um, sage, if you are going to use it to purify the air and you get a, a sage smudging stick, try and make sure it's white sage and that will purify, cleanse and protect. When you are smudging, try and go for the corners as that's where any negative energy tends to accumulate if you find there's a there's something you have, maybe you've been given a present or you got something from a second hand shop and you feel it's got bad energy, go over it with the sage and that should hopefully get rid of that. While you are purifying and burning, keep all the windows closed, keep the fans off and then when it's all done, open them back again, otherwise you won't get the maximum potential of it. Oh, and also keep a fire safe plate to catch the ashes otherwise you may well burn yourself in your carpet. Then we have a sage any this is going a little bit different with sage if you have any past trauma or bad energy if you've got a visit like I was talking before about black tourmaline if you've had an argument with someone in your home uh, you've a real disagreement, a problem, or you've even felt angry, close the door and burn that sage. Sage there has there are several studies to show that can it can affect receptors in the brain which are linked to mood. So it can alleviate the symptoms and it makes you feel calmer. So I, I really did want to do this video, obviously I, I've got so much more about this I would love to say. Um, any questions please do get in touch. The lemons are, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm in the middle of using them, that's why they're not looking that fresh, I've just been going over the windowsills with them. And cleaning in here, what have we got, I think that's Labradorite, Amethyst and Red Jasper I've got in here at the moment and these insects, insects, dear me. Incense sticks are lavender and uh, they smell beautiful, but I'll take my word for that. Anyway, I hope everyone is keeping very well. This is a mix to do with grounding, keeping well. If you're in, if you're self-isolating, I hope any of these helps and any questions, please do let me know. Much love, Elizabeth.